Russia's Ministry of Justice has announced it's placing U.S. media outlets Radio Free Europe and Voice of America on a foreign agents list. Well, to discuss this all further, uh, we're joined live in the programme by RT's Medina Kochnova. Hi, Medina. Just break down what led to this and what it all means. Well, uh, we know that nine media outlets have been registered as a foreign agents by Russia's Justice Ministry, and that is a move that follows a, a recently passed law here in Russia, a law that targets foreign media operating here in the country, but which is uh, financed from abroad. Now, Voice of America, Radio Free Europe, or Radio Liberty, as well as its uh, regional branch, uh, along with uh, six other media outlets, were recognized as foreign agents. Now, this move comes in response to RT America being forced to do the same to register as a foreign agent in the United States. And this measure will mean that all these uh, media outlets, uh, as well as their subsidiaries, will now need to uh, mark uh, their content as being uh, produced on behalf of Washington. Uh, they will also have to uh, disclose uh, their finances and to provide uh, these reports reports to uh, lawmakers here in Russia. Now, tomorrow, uh, lawmakers uh, here in the country will be reviewing a possible block of uh, foreign journalists' access to the parliament. Now, if that happens, that's going to be another mirror measure to the move that we saw last week when RT's America accreditation on Capitol Hill was revoked. And as for the uh, Russian lawmakers, they say that failure to register as a foreign agent may lead to some severe consequences, as in the case with RT America operating in the United States. Live from downtown Moscow, this is our Medina Kachnova with the explanation. Thank you very much.